Today we're taking a look at the Mictivia Remote Desktop Receiver. The receiver takes your desktop and it displays it onto your TV. Uh, setup is really straightforward. You connect power, HDMI, and Ethernet, and you're done with the physical connections. Then it's onto your Windows or Mac based PC where you install a control app, and then you're ready to project your computer's desktop onto your TV screen. The device allows for up to eight remote computers to be connected, and you can also connect a USB keyboard and a mouse, or you can use uh, the remote control from say like a laptop, which is what I did for this demo. All right, for the demo, uh, what, what I decided to do was record my desktop and then also point a camera at the television that the desktop was being uh, recorded on and put that in as a cutaway. And uh, so first thing we're gonna do is come in and launch the application. And once the application is launched, it's going to look for the, um, the Mactivias. You can have multiple Mactivias on your network, but in our case, we just have the one and we're going to connect to it. So in a second here, we will bring in a cutaway of the uh, television that we're recording on video and uh, it goes ahead and connects. There are two modes of operation here. Uh, there's what they call an application mode and a video mode. In application mode, it, the device uses a little bit more bandwidth to reduce the lag in the mouse. And in, in video mode, it uh, uses more of the bandwidth for to enhance the video quality. And they recommend that you use the, um, the application mode if you've got a hardwired connection. And in this demonstration, we are using a, um, a Wi-Fi connection and it still works pretty good. So now we're going into the setup portion of this. Uh, we are gonna select our projection quality as best. And again, they do recommend if you use best to use a hardwired connection and the screen resolution, we're going to select as large. Again, same thing applies there. Uh, they select, suggest that you use hardwired for large. And then in the TV offset uh, compensation, this is if the screen is being uh, cropped on the edges, like as in mine, you can go in there and, uh, and adjust that. Uh, we also have an auto Wi-Fi connection, which is the Wi-Fi that we're using here. The device itself is connected to a um, hardwired uh, network, but we are projecting the screen via Wi-Fi. And then there is also an all Wi-Fi uh, selection, which we don't recommend using. Uh, it just, your video quality goes down. So here we've moved over to front row. We're gonna select a movie and uh, see how it looks. Uh, the desktop is gonna show a gray screen and um, the because that's an Apple uh, issue, so that you, you can't just go in there and copy a video or something like that. So we're gonna select a movie here, 21. And one thing I'll say, we were a little bit disappointed that the audio quality is just two channel. It would have been nice if you could get to 5.1. So again, if you're looking to use this as a home theater PC replacement and you're like video and audio, it's, it's just not gonna work for you. And in this video here, we're gonna see that there is a little bit of stuttering. And in this case, it's because we're using Wi-Fi to project the screen. When I use my desktop, uh, there's, less, uh, there's less video. I mean, there's less stuttering. And um, the device goes for $230. Uh, and I say 230 because it actually says 199, but there's uh, $30, so I, I guess that makes it $229. And they ship it from Hong Kong. But right now the device is sold out. So um, I guess they had a really high um, take up rate and I'm curious to see if other people are as disappointed with it as I am. There is one area where this device I think does have some use and that's when you um, use it for web browsing if you don't have a PC connected. Oh, and by the way, here's the, um, there is a remote, uh, ac remote management screen. The device has a web server on there so you can get in there and change things like IP addresses and, and things along those lines. Uh, again, so where this device I think really works is uh, watching something like Hulu or uh, YouTube or some sort of web-based video. Uh, the quality of those videos aren't the best, so you're not going to really degrade them because uh, going in, uh, they're, not, they're not better than the quality that the device can do anyway. But it is nice that if you don't have a home theater PC, and you put this little device up there, you can uh, watch a web video. It's just at $230. I think the price is a little bit high. Um, uh, for, you know, you, you're better off going and buying uh, a dedicated PC. And, and you know, a small they have small form factor PCs 
that go for about uh, maybe 400, 450 bucks. And that's kind of like on the higher end that will provide you better performance than, uh, than this device. That, that's at least in my opinion. So that's our demonstration. Uh, we appreciate you watching and supporting our show. Uh, you can go to uh, our store and support us by getting all your home theater gear and actually anything you want from Amazon, we support it through our uh, Amazon front end. And you can get there by going to htguys.com slash shop. And feedback is always welcome. You can send your feedback to hdtvpodcast at mac.com. Thanks for watching.